Beside me is the John Doe Escape Wool Motorcycle Jacket. It has a CE AAA certification and it's available for £269. Both of those things are quite impressive and they're also something I've come to expect from John Doe. Most of their stuff, I'd say they're one of the most consistent brands in actual fact for hitting this AAA certification, which is quite impressive by itself. But then also, great value for money, £269 for this makes it quite affordable. Especially if you compare it to, well, that's a difficult thing actually. This style stands on its own. I don't know whether I could really find a lot of comparisons for style from other brands. Probably similar in a way is the Bellstaff Convoy. It is more expensive than this jacket and it's wax cotton as well. So it definitely is slightly different, but I'm gonna say this has some form of naval influence to it. It certainly has that kind of look. That's certainly what I think of with this sort of colorway and maybe this material, and um, probably mostly the collar actually, this big fluffy collar, which is also removable, which is great. It adds some versatility to this jacket. Now this is actually a sample and it's a size large. And I mentioned that only because when it comes to the sizing and fit on this jacket, I can't give you the most up-to-date information here today. However, if you check our website, we have got a size guide on there and we do keep it up to date. But from looking at this jacket on the mannequin here, he is typically a size large. And I would say this is in line with what I've come to expect from John Doe. And that's to say they do tend to size slightly larger than some other brands that we've got. I also think they're looking at some of their press materials that they may have intentionally slightly oversized this, as in they want it to be a bit roomier in terms of its fit. And that will add a bit of flexibility. The actual, the outer fabric, it is wool, so it is relatively flexible anyway. Behind that, we have their XTM fiber, which is what is gonna give you your abrasion resistance and make it so tough. You won't be able to tell a big difference between the separation of the outer and that abrasion resistant inner. It all feels very cohesive and well bonded together from the inside. It also comes with John Doe's XTM armor for your arms, so your elbows and your shoulders. It's got a pocket for a back protector if you want to get one additionally. I have to admit, their armor isn't my favorite in terms of the ones we come into contact with a lot. I do tend to prefer things like D3O, but also on that point, you can change the armor. Uh, and I think on my John Doe items, I do tend to do that, just so it's a bit more comfortable and also a little bit thicker than the armor that they offer, which for reference in this jacket is level one. If we're talking about thickness, I'd probably describe this as a mid-season jacket. It's gonna work for the majority of the year in the UK and in our climate, as long as it stops raining, which hopefully it does soon. That can absolutely do one. This isn't waterproof, um, but it's gonna do a good job in autumn and the majority of winter to keep you warm, because obviously it is a wool jacket, so it's got a decent kind of thickness to it. However, it's not oppressively thick. So it's also gonna work for the majority of spring on the hottest days, obviously wouldn't go to this, but like I say, still quite a versatile span of our riding season. The collar, whilst it is lovely and fluffy, I don't think it is genuine shearling, shearling, say it properly, Tim, not shearling, shearling, but I've already cheated a little bit. I've uh, unfastened it from the buttons. So it's fastened via buttons on the inside and then you've got these YKK snaps on the outside, which you can take off there, and then just pop that collar off, which is quite simple to do. Oh, snapped on again. Uh, and then obviously it adds some alternate style if you want to show it off like this instead. It's one of the neatest versions of that that I've personally seen on a jacket like this. I like the fact that the metal details are brass in color. I think that offsets really well against the navy, and you've got a very smooth YKK zip on the front there. You have an internal pocket if you need to use it, and then you've got two pockets, sorry, three pockets around the outside. You have two around your waist there, and one on your chest. You have these elasticated rib sections around your wrist with a hole in there if you want to stick your thumb through. Sometimes you'll find when they do that, if you don't want to stick your thumb through, it's still obvious that it's got it, and that's kind of irritating. On this one, at least, it is quite discreet. Really simple, unfussy design, very comfortable on, and I think that's in part due to the amount of room you've got on the inside. It is a really easy, just throw it on and forget about it jacket. It just does its job without you having to think about it. And crucially, it has that CE AAA certification. Links can be found in the description. Let us know what you think of it in the comments section, and I will see you soon. Bye.